Well, y'all, we got the sauce falling. Yep, the sauce is the plums. You see the plums in there? And we're going to blend it up. Yep, it's making that big, beautiful plum juice. And we're going to make a sauce. Yep, we're going to make a sauce, too. You know, you make it with lemon and sugar. You put some brown sugar and whatever else you want in there. Mm -hmm. So this is all ready to put in the blender and blend up real nicely. Look how nice that sauce is going to be. Yeah, so we're going to take that off now. And we're going to put it in the food processor or the blender. I prefer the blender. Let's get it off. Okay, y'all, now we're going to pour this into the blender. And we're going to make our sauce, y'all. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Pour that in there. And we're going to make our sauce. You know me. I like to get the every drop of it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to blend that up. And um, let's see. We put that on. And I think Nene is going to come over here while I hold the camera for her. Or she's going to do it. Got our plum sauce, y'all. And I wanted to um, show y'all how it looks. Let me see if I'm, I'm not good with blenders, y'all. Uh, but anyway, if Nene could get down in there and show you how beautiful the plum sauce looks. Okay, so that's the plum sauce. And you can use this on chicken, baked chicken, any kind of roasted meat. Um, <laughs> Roasted meat, you can use this um, on. Okay, so here we have it. That's the plum sauce. I have to stir it. Um, I need like a jar to store it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spoon and stir it up because it needs to be stirred. Oh, I do have one, y'all. So we're going to stir it while it's still in the blender a little bit. Okay. There you go. So you got your plum sauce. Let's taste it. Mmm. Lord have mercy. Jesus Christ, y'all. I got to rinse this off because I don't want to do double dipping. But here you go, your plum sauce. Now, we're going to move over to, well, we're going to pour this in the jar. And we're going to show y'all how this looks. This plum sauce, and you can use it anytime you want. Yeah, you can use this plum sauce anytime you want. There it goes. You see it? You can use it for bacon, chicken, um, any kind of roasted meat, or vegetable stuff too. If you're, you're vegetarian, you can use it for eggplants or tofu. You know tofu? Yeah, you can use it for tofu. Yeah. Let me get all that good juicy stuff out of there, y'all. Oh my God, it is good. Oh, I wish you could taste it. But there go your um, sauce, your plum sauce to put on whatever you prefer to put it on. It's almost like a gel. No, see, it's stirring. Not a gel. You can make gel too if you want, but this, this is a sauce. And this is how it looks. You see it? Okay. So we got that. And we're going to just rinse out our blender here. Um... So we got that down pack, y'all. Now let's go back to the sweet. We're gonna plate up the plum pie. And you can, okay. So we're gonna um you can plate this up with the pie later, and I'm gonna have to switch over phone because my phone battery is running low, y'all. But anyway, let me get the pie out, okay? But this is the sauce. Put it in one of these mason jar, okay, where you can store it in the refrigerator. Yeah, you can pull it up to the top. I only made a little bit. 
because um, I'm going to pour it over there. I, vanilla ice cream, you can pour it over. And, you know, get it to like a room temperature. And it's so delicious, y'all, eating it with the pie. Okay. Mm, uh, mm, mm, y'all. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so I'll be right back. I got to um, get the pie out. The pie is been finished, so let's get this pie with some ice cream. As y'all can see, I already... Uh, Sugar plum pie. What a comfort 